Bro, I would tear up some chicken shawarma right now, bro. I just had some Chinese. You know that, that yellow chicken? I'm hungry, bro. You're still hungry? Yeah. Big boy. All right, guys. We're here at the car meet for the vlog. True. Yeah, fuck it. I dressed up. I dressed up. Yo, let's see if the purple cat wants to Oh, so that's anybody. I'm just kidding. We'll even oh, get the, we'll even I, get the I, light. When I want a book, I can fucking book, okay? Brian, we'll, yeah, ask I'll him what I'll, I'll, I'll give you. You saw me book out in Albany. I'll race you, you right dude, now. Dude, like I said, your strides are like... I'll race you right now. On foot? On foot. Long. You're going to get smoked. Let's do it. You will get smoked. Someone get the light. Shoot. Shoot. I'm broke. I just had to get a hundred bucks for you. <laughs> 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 Hold on a second. It's a Lambo. <laughs> Fuck that! Like, alright, Brian. Yeah, funny. <laughs> Listen, I'm a Jeep at the end of the day. That people pass. You gotta get your Timberland lighter from them. I gave him. Over 50 lighters today, because I know he smokes a lot of stogies. And I stole them. You gave him 50 the lighters? One. Yeah, dude, my work handed out a bunch of lighters, and I fucking had like 50 of them, and a bunch of bags of M&M's. Oh, you're getting a little light. Fuck you can drive, brother. Oh, yeah. Fucking drive. God I can do that, damn. Listen, I, I'm, I'm focusing straight when, obviously, when you're racing. I'm, and all of a sudden, I see your headlights go to the left. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, what the fuck did I just see? And I, I think I, I hit back. a wet spot, dude. It's, 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 it's still, it's still, right dude, talking about? It's still a little damn. Yeah. Yeah. And I think That's you just what hit I a bad. You, man, you know what I'm saying? Well, we've been doing this a long time. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's tough. It's tough with the. Alright, so let's prep our squash. We're gonna cut it in half this way first. Okay, and put that side out of the way. We also wanna take off this bit. Okay. And then we just wanna peel it as best we can. And go around the whole squash. So once you got it to here, we're gonna wanna make cubes. You can buy this pre-cubed. I just like to use my knife and do it myself. Plus it's gonna be fresher. But anyways, cubes like this size will work fine. Um, the more consistent you are with the size, the more even they're gonna cook. So try to keep that in mind, but again, it doesn't really have to be perfect. And you can even break these down smaller if you'd like. It's really up to you. You can take them and kind of make them a lot of real small chunks. 
but medium size like I did at first, like that should be fine. When you get to the part with the seeds, somebody just scoop them out or eat them to the garbage or whatever, a bag. But all I know is you don't want them. And then we're gonna peel this and cube this up just like we did the other part. All right, guys, so I got my Dutch oven over medium high heat. I had a little bit of olive oil, like a tablespoon and a half, and then two tablespoons of butter. And let that all melt. All right, guys, so now you're gonna add a cup of finely chopped on onion. And cook that until it's lightly browned. We're gonna season it with a nice pinch of kosher salt. Okay. And some freshly ground black pepper. All right guys, so once your onions look like that, you wanna add your garlic. I have six cloves here, uh, four to six cloves depending on your taste. Make sure you keep that moving, don't let that burn. Maybe I'll grow some better. So, move your garlic. You can also lower your heat down a touch. Next thing you wanna add is some of your spices. I got here a quarter of a teaspoon of each. I got ground sage, smoked paprika, um, nutmeg, and cinnamon. I'm gonna put all that in there. If there's something you don't like, take it out. If there's something you wanna add, add it. Let these spices toast a little bit. After that, you're gonna add your squash. And stir this all in and let this roast up and toast up a little bit. Just be careful you mix everything so it doesn't get stuck on the bottom and burn. And don't lose any like I just did. <laughs> but yeah, toast your squash up just a little bit. So after a few minutes, you're gonna add four cups of chicken stock or broth. Okay, so to this, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of curry powder, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, and one fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne. And we're gonna stir this up. Let this come to the boil and simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes or as long as it takes until this squash gets all tender and soft. All right guys, so squish your garlic into your butter. Squish all that in there. All right, so next thing you wanna do is take your bread and sop up all this garlic oil, of course. You don't want to waste that, because that's good stuff. And take your roasted garlic, mix it with your softened butter. Hit it with a little parsley flakes for color. Spread your garlic butter nicely onto your bread. Thank you. 
Now we want to put our bread back in the same 350 degree oven until it's toasted up and their bar melts a little bit. Also check your soup, still simmering. Our soup needs a few more minutes, like five more minutes and I'll be ready and for the next step. All right guys, so once it looks like this, our butter is all nice and melted into the bread. Now we just gotta add our cheese. You don't wanna go too, too crazy with this either. Alright guys, so our soup is pretty much done. We're going to take it off the heat and let it cool for a few seconds. Alright guys, so we're going to put two tablespoons of honey. Just going to do the rest of that. It's in there. That was probably about two tablespoons. Just throw that in. Make sure you guys can see this. My squash is tender. Now you could use an immersion blender. We're gonna actually, actually use an actual blender because it's easier, but blend your soup. And I'm just gonna basically do this in batches. All right guys, so I'm just blending my soup on low until it's nice and smooth. So we're just gonna pour the second batch that we just blended back in and look as nice and silky smooth. Looking great. Next thing you wanna do is hit it with a half a cup of half and half. Let's try the soup. Let's mix it on our side of the cream. That's delicious. Go try this recipe, guys. I'm gonna go eat. See you guys next time, Joe Con 94. Of course, we're gonna try the garlic bread. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Had a good weekend. Um, car meets were fun. Thankfully, Venom was able to save it because he's a fucking awesome driver. Shout out to Venom. And, uh, yeah, watch the Fury versus uh, Ngannou fight. And I think Francis got robbed 100%. I think he won that fight. I think he landed more shots, better shots, was the aggressor, controlled the pace. And I think the knockdown should have been the final nail in the coffin, so to say, to give him the win but whatever it is what it is francis looked awesome fury looked awesome it was a great clean fight between two real fighters and not these idiot youtubers and stuff um so that was nice to see actual boxing and not a shit show <clears throat> even though boxing is a shit show but anyways guys that's gonna be it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up remember to comment below and subscribe and try that soup and um yeah i'll see you guys next time joy 94 out